Stop right there. No one's allowed up ahead. Who are you trying to kid? You're that clinic woman's lackey. Did you think the Mutual Aid Society didn't have its own intel? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place, right? Men, look lively and send this idiot packing already. Time for a buzz. <laughs> I told you I could fight. <sighs> Time to go on the offensive. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take you for a bandit and a thief. You listen here. I'm the president of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society. The medicine we hold here is lifeblood for many of our members. Are you sure you want to deprive them of that? Those poor patients. Along comes a life-saving wonder medicine, only to be snatched away by a shameless bandit like you. The underworld is full of sickness. What would happen if we left it all to that clinic to treat? My mutual aid society has relieved that doctor of patience at the end of the road. Shouldn't she be thanking me? Hmm. Seems like you are quite bent on dismantling our operations, aren't you? I'm seeing as you came all this way, it'd be rude not to give you the opportunity. Men, seize the medicine thief! Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Time for a buzz. <laughs> Awaken Thorman Scales. Delve Hidden Moon. World Cleansing Dragon. Told ya I could fight. <sighs> Time to go on the offensive. Defend the weak. Time to go on the offensive. Ha! You can't run! Lance ablaze! Flaming Lance! Forward! Huh. More animal. Mm, blast it! What did we ever do to you? Why are you taking away our moneymaker? Moneymaker? So you admit it then. You're not in this to save lives, you're in it to get rich. What are you doing here? Oh, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. Selling fake medicine with false kindness. 
You should have expected trouble to find you sooner or later. I have a responsibility to protect the well-being of my patients. Or to put it another way, I must eradicate any and all threats to them. You... Well, you can't save everyone! The Underworld is teeming with sickness! How could you possibly pull it off? You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the Underworld rests with me. All I can do is help everyone to the best of my ability. To the very end. Ugh. Ugh, so stubborn. In that sense, you're no different from your crazy brother. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Your actions today have saved many Underworld families. I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagents. Next time the Mutual Aid Society wants to whip up a quack cure, they'll be out of luck. <laughs> Let's go back to town. I still owe those patients an explanation. It looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. <laughs> rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. How, how dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Ma'am, please, think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she... I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface? <laughs> I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Have some respect for Dr. Natasha. If it's respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the wonder medicine fast. If not... I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Vash. I'm out of here. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Oh, you're here. I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. <laughs> Don't let your emotions get the better of you. If I were in his shoes, I might well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. No, but I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. <laughs> I, uh actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted by an overworld family that life changed for me. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood, <laughs> and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. <laughs> My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. 
He was gentle and introverted. But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive, like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was conflicted in that way. I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called Blizzard Immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease, and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the Snow Plains. To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard immunity. But I do admire that vision and perseverance. I always chose to believe him, ever since I was a kid. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him. In a terrible way. During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that fascinated Vash. He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. Those reagents of his aren't cure-alls for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Fash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into... into a madman. Indeed. And it all happened under my nose. How ridiculous. My judgment was clouded by trust in a loved one. When his experiments were exposed, I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the underworld. Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious underworlders. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. <sighs> Looking back, it wasn't. He deserved much worse. Oleg and I took Vash to the Overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a terrible brother, and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. Let's call it a day. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here, for your trouble. <laughs>